Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So last week, just as animators, movie makers, game developers, and digital artists gathered under the same roof for Seagraph 2010, right from the show floor, NVIDIA unveiled four new graphics cards, Quadro 4000, 5000, 6000, and Quadruplex 7000. Depending on the one you pick, you get somewhere between 256 to 896 CUDA processing cores with 2 to 12 gigabytes of memory. The previous generation Quadro FX 5800, for example, comes with 240 cores only. Now these numbers don't really tell you what the additional cores can do, so let's just take a look at the difference in action. Quadro Professional Solutions Group at NVIDIA. So what we have here is two identical workstations. The one on the left is equipped with a Quadro FX 4800, and the one on the right is equipped with a Quadro 5000. The test we're running is vPerf 11, and what we have here is a variety of tests from vPerf 11, and each test consists of a fixed number of frames, and clearly Quadro 5000 is outperforming Quadro FX 4800. Now these are cards aimed at professional markets, including medical imaging, simulation and analysis, high-performance computing, and computer-aided design. The official word from NVIDIA is that the new cards can perform five to eight times better than earlier cousins. That means your ray tracing, rendering, mechanical simulation, and fluid dynamic calculations are all about to get turbocharged. Let's see what NVIDIA's partners have to say. Hi, my name is Philip Lunn. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called BunkSpeed. I'm proud to introduce today a brand new product called BunkSpeed Shot, which is completely new, completely reimagined, uh, a new way of making 3D renderings come to life on your screen very quickly and uh, accurately. You can see here we've got a, an interesting new button. It's called Ray Trace Using, and here you can select whether you just use the CPU, use the GPU, or you use the hybrid, which is a combination of both CPU and GPU. So today I'm just going to launch on GPU only because it's, the, in this case, the fastest for this machine. Right now I'm in a studio environment and I want to make this image a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go to my environments and because we're using HDR lighting, by changing the, the HDR, you change the complete look and feel of the image. So I'm going to double click on the HDR here. And without doing anything more, I've got a completely different lighting environment. It begins to resolve. You see you've got the diffuse light hitting the ground here coming through the window and from your skylights. So it gives very, very natural lighting effects from simply a change of the HDR lighting. This is where the value of the accelerated graphics from NVIDIA really comes in because doing real-time ray tracing on an interior has been in the past almost impossible to get anything close to previewing what you're actually going to get. With having one or two of the NVIDIA GPUs working full speed, you can now begin to do real-time rendering that has in the past been absolutely impossible for interior rendering. So that's a quick overview of Bunk Speed Shot. It's, as you can see, it's very simple to use and delivers fantastic results that are accelerated by NVIDIA graphics cards, in this case, two Quadro 5000s. Hi, my name is Jerome Snapfangers. I'm CEO of RTT USA. RTT USA is a full-surface software technology company focusing on visualization of consumer products. What I will be showing you today is a module called RTT Real Fluid, which comes with our core product, RTT Delta Gen software. What we have here is a Porsche Panamera showing in a virtual environment. Clearly in automotive and aerospace, they have used wind tunnel technology for decades. However, in recent years, this has all gone digital. And what happens is that all these calculations are calculated on large Unix machines. And what RTT did basically was take those calculations and put them into a scene in Delta Gen in real time. However, this year, it's very exciting. We can do those calculations actually not on a separate machine and then transfer them, but do them directly onto a workstation with a Quadro card and Tesla cards. The speed of calculation has improved so much that that can now be calculated and shown in real time. And the engineers can explain where the wind goes faster and slower 
and the designers can on the fly basically change the model so that it improves the, the airflow. So looking around Seagrub show floor, one thing becomes quite clear, and that's stereoscopic display and visualization. That's becoming the new frontier in graphics. This has huge implications not just for movie and game makers, but also for design and engineering. The new NVIDIA Quadro cards can be used with compatible display units, projectors, and NVIDIA's 3D Vision Pro glasses to create stereoscopic effects. Faster GPUs don't just mean bigger pictures. It means we'll now be able to visualize what was impossible to visualize before because the processors couldn't cope with the amount of math and equations they needed to solve to accurately represent certain real-world events. So what will you do with these cards? Well, I don't want to rob you of the fun of figuring that out, so I'll leave that to you. Till next time, I'm Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.